Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a healthy vegan echo. And we're going to start off with one chopped onion. I've got scotch bonnet pepper there, but that's optional for you. I've got a tablespoon of salt, thyme, and curry powder, which is optional. I've got a half cup of tomato puree, or you could make your own puree, tomato puree, fresh tomato sauce, whichever you prefer. One cup of spring water, some grapeseed oil, and of course, my greens there. This is spring green which I think is called colored greens in the US. But you're more than welcome to use amaranth green, which is callaloo, a type of spinach, or you can use kale, whichever you prefer. Okay, let's get started. To the hot oil, I'm gonna add my onions and pepper. I'm going to fry this for 3 minutes until translucent. Okay, so that's been frying for 3 minutes. I'm just going to add my tomato puree. And give it a stir. Again, you can use your own tomato puree, tomato sauce, from fresh tomato, however you usually do it. And this is a plum tomato puree, by the way. Normally in other countries, they use palm oil, but of course we're following or trying to follow Dr. Baby. So we're going the healthier way by using grapeseed oil. You can use other oil if you want, but that's the oil I've got. After you add your puree, you fry for one minute, then add your water. And again, give this a stir. Just cook for a couple of minutes, then add your seasonings. After two minutes cooking, I'm just going to add my seasonings now. Remember, the curry powder is completely optional, but I like it in there because it gives it a nice flavor. At this point, you can add any other seasonings you want, but those are the three that I will use. See that lovely thick tomato sauce? I will now add my greens to this. Again, you can use pololu or kale, whichever you prefer. But I'm using colored greens. Here it goes. For the greens, I uh, chopped up and poured about one liter boiling hot water onto it for 10 minutes and then I squeeze the water out. I used 500 grams of greens for this recipe. Now that my greens are in, just gonna give it a good stir to combine everything. At this point, you could add more water if you want, if the sauce is a little bit thick. So I will be adding a few more mils of water. Then when you add your water, you let it sit and simmer for about 10 minutes, covered on low heat. This is what we have after 10 minutes of simmering. I mean, this looks good to me. Let's see. It's a little bit watery, so I'm just gonna leave it open for a couple of minutes to just dry up some of that water. And here is my finished effo. I'm also serving it with a quinoa I did this morning, the stir fry one with a slice of avocado. You can add any vegetables, any fruits to it if you want. You can serve it with bananas, green bananas, rice, anything you prefer, some roast vegetables. It's all up to you. If you do decide to try this recipe, please let me know how it goes on for you. Thank you and enjoy.